Um, this is uh, using combinatorics. We did a whole unit on combinatorics and probability we've been counting, you know, counting outcomes here, favorable divided by total. When we first did that, we just started counting by counting the long way, right? Sometimes making a table and saying, here's, you know, one, two, three, four ways this can happen and, you know, three ways this can happen. So there's 12 outcomes here. And then of those, maybe we counted a few and said it's three out of 12 or whatever. We're going to go to counting again, counting and using this idea favorable over total, but we're going to use combinatorics to count. So we're not counting the long way and saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You're counting using combinatorics and uh, doing probabilities that way. So it's a different way of thinking about probability. It's Don't learn this that, uh, oh, wait a sec, when I get the questions that say this, I have to do this. It's just another way to approach, like a lot of the questions we've done already, you can approach this way, all right? So we're back to cards here again. Suppose two cards are drawn without replacement, 52 cards. Calculate the probability that they are both aces. You can do what we've been doing recently, which is you know using conditional probability, multiplying some fractions, using that multiplication rule. The chance that both cards are aces is the chance that the first card's an ace times the chance that the second card's an ace, except you need to add on the condition given that the first card was an ace. Right? If you're using symbols, chance of getting an ace first and an ace second is chance that you get an ace first times chance that you get an ace on the second draw given you got an ace on the first draw. Those two fractions, I guess I'm working up the page here. I didn't put a lot of uh, space here, but chance of getting an ace on the first draw is 4 out of 52. This conditional probability here, the second draw, the second draw, you're reducing the sample space, right? Conditional probability means that's a smaller number. There's one card, it can't be. It can't be what you got first, so there's only 51 cards. Of those 51, how many are left that can be aces? Three, right? That's exactly like what we just did with conditional probability. We reduced the sample space. If you multiply those two, you get 12 out of that number that we've had before, 2652. That's, that's uh, what we've been doing recently with those kind of things. You can do it another way and come up with the same thing, right? What you could do is you, should, you could go back to just counting favorable over total. In other words, you could just count um, if you knew... If it says what's the chance that the two cards are aces, the total could just be number of ways to pick any two cards, right? If you could count that, which you can, number of ways to choose any two cards. That's the total. And then on the top, you want out of that number, number of ways to choose to choose what? What are we looking for on top? What's the favorable? Aces, right? Number of ways to choose two aces. So if you could count, how many ways can I pick two aces from how many are there? By the way. How many aces are there? Four, four right? So we want to know, how many ways can you pick two aces from four? That's the top number. And then, I don't know why I put them backwards here. And you want, on the bottom you want, how many ways can you pick two cards from the entire deck? Any two cards. That's on the bottom. If you, if you say there's 52 cards and I have to pick two, I can count uh, any, I can say, this is 52C2 is the number of ways I can pick any two cards. That gives you all the combinations of cards, right? You could sit there and count them all and say I could have the Ace of Hearts, and the uh, two of hearts, or I could have the ace of hearts and the three of hearts, or I could have the ace of hearts and the four, right? That would be, you'd be there a long time. Remember we started making lists, ace and a two, you know, hearts, ace, three, ace, four. That's a pretty long list. That's a big number. You're, you're, count, <laughs> you're counting, as exciting as that sounds, you're counting the shortcut, right? You're saying 52 cards, choosing two, where I don't care about the order. And then, it's, and then on the top you want, well, how many ways could I pick from the four aces could I pick two? That one you could actually list, and it wouldn't be that hard, right? You could have the uh, 
ace of hearts and the ace of uh, spades. You can have the ace of hearts and the ace of clubs. And you can make a list, and it's going to be this many, right? That's how many ways you can pick two aces from four. Incidentally, you know what that is? What's 4C2? It is actually not 12. I think it's 6. You're thinking 4. You you pushed the wrong button in your mental calculator. 4P2 is what I think you just... No, <laughs> um, What's the bottom number here? 1, 3, 2, 6. This reduces down to the same thing as the number up there. If you reduced it down, I think this is 2... Uh, 1 over 221 or something like that. Is that right? Really? I just have, well, I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I think of this as 1,200 and 126. So 1,200 is easy. It's 200, right? And 126 is easy. It's 21. That's the way to do thing, divisions like that is break it apart. Um, anyways, that number and this number are the same, right? The numbers in the original fraction are different, but the, the result is the same. That would be saying we're counting this as though we don't care about the order. In this, in this situation, it doesn't matter because we could actually do it with permutations in this case as well. We would just have a higher number on the bottom and a higher number on the top. I, I, I don't, this is in here because it works in this case, but you sometimes need to think about whether the order is going to matter or not. Here, you don't really care about the order, so I would probably use combinations. But it does work in this case to do permutations as well. If you're counting this by saying, how many ways can I pick two cards and care about the order, and how many ways can I pick two aces and care about the order, you actually get the number that you get up above. You get that. But it reduces, of course, to the same thing. So you're, you're using... You're just going back to favorable over total, that basic probability formula, and you're just counting the number of ways. You're not multiplying into individual fractions or using that multiplication law or anything like that. Okay? Can we uh, look at this one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does that mean, could you just wait a second? <laughs> You're supposed to use Pascal. If you're trying to uh, work this one out here, Again, think about how it's a shift in thinking. You're not multiplying fractions or anything like that. You could work some of these things out by multiplying fractions, but you're going to run into problems when you start having different orders, different ways things can be combined together. The first question here says, what's the chance that if you pick five cards, what's the chance they are all spades? If you want to count that, if you want to do the uh, probability of that, you could do it by saying by multiplying the fractions. You could say, well, there's four, sorry, there's not four, there's 13 spades out of 52, then you only have 51 cards, there's 12 left, then there's 50 cards left, and there's 11, and then, you know, you could do this, right? In this case, this would work. That would give you the right answer. You're not going to be able to do that with things like this where there's different orders possible. If it's all spades, there's only one way it can happen, right? Spades all in a row. But if it's like this where it says spades and two hearts, you, you can rearrange that, right? It could, it could happen a bunch of different ways. If you just multiply fractions, that gives you only one of the ways. Now, there's something later on that you mentioned there about Pascal's triangle that we can find another shortcut, but we're going to leave that for now. I would say, even though this works in this case, it's probably not the most efficient way to do it. We'll just do that. You can still read it, can't you? <laughs> Um, if you want to count this, if you could count number of ways to pick five cards, we'll put dot, 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 and we'll put number of ways, five spades, right? And just count those things, right? The total is from the 52 cards, you're choosing five, and you don't care about the order that they come up in. And you're choosing from... 13 spades, you're choosing 5. Thank you. Um, let me do a mental calculation here. I think this is... Uh, I'm, I'm just pretending. I think I've just memorized this number. Can someone confirm that that's right? 
Yeah. What is it? Twelve eighty-seven. Oh, you wanted to be exactly ten. Yes. Oh, oh <laughs> sorry. Wow. Is that number right? Oh, you're just dropping the ball. Dropping the ball. No, I got I got till ten fifty-one really. If I had told you at the beginning of the year that the real deadline was ten fifty-one, nobody would ever say anything until ten fifty-one, and then it'd be too late. That's why YouTube tells you it has to be 10 minutes or less, but it's really 10 minutes and 51. Maybe you're just abusing the system. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs>